Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time I'll be showing you what I got up to at the Devon Comic Con and Gaming Festival. Now this is the, the Spring 2022 one and it was held at West Point on the 5th of February 2022. And uh, this is what was greeted you when you got inside the door. A whole array of dealers and there were quite a few dealers there. My estimate was probably between 30 and 40 different uh, traders with stalls. And uh, the majority of the stuff on um, on sale was uh, well sci-fi and pop culture collectibles. And uh, we're going to have a real good look at the dealers' tables as we go through this. Um, there was also a lot of cosplayers and people dressed up. And there were some uh, uh, droids going around as well. Lots of Star Wars. It was uh, it was a real eye opener and fantastic to get back to uh, a show like this, which I haven't been to in. Well, it seems flipping years, to be honest. Um, so I went up with uh, a couple of friends, George and uh, my friend Andy, and uh, they were on the lookout for comics because there was a, it was hailed as a comic show. I personally was on the lookout for a few larger action figures sort of things that I could put on display from the new studio. So uh, I was after a Doctor Who giant robot and maybe some um, comic book related stuff. And uh, well, to be honest, I didn't actually find what I was looking for, which was a bit of a shame. There were some loose figures, which I, there was a couple that I quite fancied, um, and I thought I'll go back and get them later on, but by then they had sold, and the dealers were doing brisk, brisk trade. Now this uh, display here is Terry English, so he um, is an armorer, he makes suits of armor, and he's contributed to lots and lots of movies over the years and TV series. This is just some of his work and he's got a few little souvenirs that you can buy from the stall. Works in metal, as you can see. And I believe he designed uh, the uh, Colonial Marines armor for this second Aliens movie. This was the same guy. In fact, there are the uh, drawings. This was um, a table with some Chris Akilos, uh, Doctor Who related and fantasy artwork. Uh, Chris's widow was there and she had a few bits that were um, some merchandise from the website and things like that. Very, very nice to see. Such a great artist. Um, he passed away um, as we filmed this about a month ago. Most famous, I think, for his Doctor Who target jackets of the uh, 1970s, which were fantastic. So nice to see some brilliant t-shirts with his artwork on, as you can see. Very, very nice indeed. Now there were lots and lots of tables like this, which were full of sort of loose, bagged loose figures. Um, and the, the prices range from say five to 10 pound, depending on the size of the figure. There was a, uh, these droids here, these are fully automated working droids, absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, lots of Star Wars cosplayers around. It really did create quite a lot of um, fun, it really did. These are just superb. Excellent. It's a nice range of figures, nothing really vintage. There was a, a few little bits of vintage Star Wars, which you'll see later on. But on the whole, it was stuff from the last like, 20 or so years. Not a lot before that. See the odd bit here or there, there's a Y-Wing there. There were just little bits and pieces. There was a, a Thing doll, which I was gonna try and get, the Thing figure, but I went back and it had sold. Um, this is by far the best comic dealer there, a real nice spread of stuff. Um, I forget the chap's name, but he's been uh, going to the shows for a long, long time. And uh, my friend Andy tracked down a comic he was after there. Now, it was also a retro gaming convention as well. So um, there were two or three stalls with retro gaming items, and uh, we'll have a look at uh, some more of those a bit later on. But it was nice to see, definitely a growing hobby that. There's some more loose classic and uh, semi-vintage Star Wars figures. If you're into Funko Pops, there was plenty to buy. Mm -hmm. 
this was fun. So uh, you could go and um, someone had brought along a full-size DeLorean, complete with flux capacitor in the back. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic this. And uh, this, to be honest, whilst I was there, this had a queue all the time of people waiting to jump in and get their uh, photo taken. It was only a fiver, uh, which I didn't think was too bad at all. So I had to sort of <laughs> have my two minutes behind the wheel, as it were. Cool Batman stuff there. It was a real mixture of all sort of sci-fi and genre stuff. Loads of superhero stuff. It was it was definitely something for everybody. There was classic Lego. There was collectible Lego and minifigures. I picked up one of these here. That's a Transformer poster. Art. I got one of those for my brother-in-law, who's a, a big classic Transformers fan. And they were original from the 80s. Doctor Who figures there. Some nice 90s Spawn stuff. I remember selling them back in the day. There was a couple of uh, full-size Daleks walking around, or driving around as they were. And uh, I think they were the Somerset Cosplay Club were there. There's uh, Mandalorian and Grogu. <laughs> Some good costumes there, another little red droid, and uh, I particularly like the Planet of the Apes guy at the back there. <laughs> Don't often see a Planet of the Apes cosplay. There's the, uh, the droid. Fantastic stuff. These are quite nice. These are like themed posters, all in the same sort of art style. I've seen these before, um, but those are particularly good. This was a store dedicated to uh, retro gaming memorabilia. There was some really good stuff there as well. Xbox, PlayStation, Fortnite, Zelda. Lots to spend your money on. Pretty cool stuff. The stalls on the whole seemed very, very busy to me. I mean, they really did. And they were, a lot of them were taking card and cash, of course. And here's a quick thank you to my channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you very much, guys and girls if you'd like to join the channel and support us in making more of these videos do please hit the links below here we are so we've got some more larger size action figures there some fantastic stuff nice cyber helmet there <laughs> yep, some cool stuff Quite a bit of Jurassic Park as well at this show. That was a surprise. This store was sort of like steampunk and some outfit -y stuff. Trading cards. Well, there wasn't a lot of trading cards. Certainly no classic stuff, but there was some Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, that sort of thing. Uh, this particular store had a nice range of um, uh, early RPG stuff, some original Dungeons and Dragons, and they had a bit of retro gaming stuff as well. Quite nice stuff to see. Beaten up Game and Watches there. And a very minimalistic show of uh, Forgotten Realms paperbacks, and that was pretty much the only books at the entire show. It wasn't that sort of thing. There was graphic novels and comics, but there wasn't much in the way of books except on this very stall. And even these weren't vintage. They were sort of 80s upwards, you know. Lots and lots of loose figures there. A fantastic fun if you were just going to pick up a few toys. Brilliant stuff. Loads of choice. Some of the B&M box sets there. This store had quite a bit of Lego, as I recall. And these little mini figs, they're quite nice, the retro video game ones. Um, they had some really nice cheap mugs, only four quid those mugs, four pound each. Unofficial, I should hasten to add. 
nice little big leg mugs, but it's still quite nice. Some more vintage on this store. This had the best selection of vintage. Um, at the entire show, it's a friend of mine called Paul ran this this store with his brother. Some cool stuff on here. Nothing particularly high grade, but it was the only sort of vintage stuff around, to be honest. There was even a tub of vintage Star Wars. Very low grade stuff, but still nice to see. This is the start of quite a nice run of uh, retro gaming stalls. This particular chap had some really nice high grade Nintendo stuff, early Nintendo games, Game Boy stuff, Game Boy Color, had some consoles as well. Even some Spectrum games, some cassettes. Lots and lots of PlayStation 1 there, which was cool to see. And that's all PlayStation 2 there with the white spines. Not a great deal of classic Xbox, although there was some. But if you look at the way that these are presented in these boxes, which are four into bits, they don't do themselves any favours, do they? I mean, it's all very well, you know, getting the stock out like that, but you know, Guys, spend a little bit on the presentation. It would make such a huge difference when you're trying to charge in you know, a 10 to 20 pound for some of these games. You want them to be uh, yeah, presented a bit better than they were, in my personal opinion. I thought they were very wishy-washy, some of those, and uh, they could have used upgraded cases and things like that. But hey, who am I to say? There's a smallish selection of classic Xbox games and uh, nothing in there that I, I needed. A few more little Nintendo consoles, loose ones, Wii games, more Xbox, and 360 stuff. Still nice to see. Don't often get them down here. Some of the celebrity cars, the Harry Potter is it Triumph and the uh, Trotter's Robin Reliant <laughs> were on display. Good fun. And by this time, the, the show had really uh, got much, much busier. So it's a good job I got those stalls filmed when I did, to be honest. Come midday, it was packed. Some more old comics. Above the tables, below the tables. This is quite good. This is a free photo opportunity to be uh, photographed with Slimer. So I <laughs> took the opportunity uh, to do that, which is uh, fun. And uh, this was um, most of the Star Wars cosplayers all together, which is pretty cool. Classic Star Wars, although we did have our Planet of the Apes guy in on the left there, but they were there posing. And there's uh, three Mandalorians. Excellent stuff. They were very cool. So this is like uh, uh, the Jurassic Park Raptor going around, and this was also a free attraction. Very popular with the kids, and uh, that woman getting her head eaten. <laughs> Raptor's world. There's the, the bounty hunters again. And uh, there we are, Grogu. Until next time, brilliant stuff. <laughs>